on the real. On Girl Chat, are you too old to turn up? If you the oldest person at the club, you have to proceed with caution. You know what I mean? <laughs> and who's feeling lucky? We're taking your bet as we play another round of You Bet Your Host. I'm going to say yes. Plus, our favorite inmate from Orange is the New Black, we've got Dasha Polanco on the reel. in the hit FX show, The People vs. O.J. Simpson. Yes. However, he might be enjoying the success of the show a little too much. Check out this footage TMZ obtained of Cuba partying it up at a Miami Beach nightclub. Roll the tape! <laughs> Cuba oh removes God. his shirt, puts a club goer's phone in his mouth, Ooh. and it's alleged at one point he started spraying the crowd with a CO2 cannon. Where he get that from? I, hey, from the club. I mean, sometimes hey. they do that. You know, they have oxygen. You never at been the club. to a club where all of a sudden it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah it looks like I ain't never seen nobody at the club handing them out though. No, no. no. <laughs> I've never seen that either. But here's yeah. the question: um, He is partying. Uh, yeah. Tamar, he yeah. is 48 years old. He has three kids. Should he still be getting turned up at the club? Well, let me tell you. I don't think there's anything wrong with going to the club at any age, but if you the oldest person at the club, <laughs> or, uh, you know, next to the oldest person at the club, you have to proceed with caution. You know what I mean? <laughs> Man, you, just, you just can't take your shirt off and spin it around like it's a helicopter. Like, it's rules. You we know, like, I'm 35 think... and older, and, and it's your song, you, you have to sit down. <laughs> right? You, you just do. You I think... Know, I'm sorry. Uh, no, no. I was going to say, like, do you know how, how much I have to contain myself when Rihanna's work come on? <laughs> like, it's just like... I can't Why? just... Because I can't... First of all, like, twerking is, like, an age-appropriate thing, like, <laughs> in public. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I want to twerk every minute on the hour. Trust me. I do. But I just can't be at the club. I just not stop. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just agree, because I feel like, and I would make this the 11th commandment, when it comes to a turn-up, there should be no age limit. Nice. <laughs> no. No, I don't think so. No. I think when you, when you're feeling it, like, I don't care if you're, like, in the front row of church and you're feeling the spirit or you're him church at the club. Different. You got to let it go. You got to call, call it out and let it free. No. Ooh, call call it it. But hold on a second. But I, I think if it I disrespects have... anybody, yes. yes. If you're twerking, like, put someone's eye out, sit down. You're... Like, you know what I mean? I agree with what you're saying. Okay. But do you guys remember the movie Knocked Up? And yeah. you remember the, the bouncer at the club? Now, I believe everybody should be able to turn up at any age. Okay. But some of it needs to be done in your home. Thank you. Like, so it was like the guy was at the door like, I'm not saying you too old for the world, for the earth. <laughs> you just too old <laughs> for the club. <laughs> not for the earth. Not for the world. I think I'm a little bit more concerned that he put somebody's phone in his mouth. And then There's jumps. some fecal matter on phone. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes, there are. Yes. That is yes. disgusting. Let me tell y'all something. Cuba ain't work like this is snow dogs. So he is happy. <laughs> you go do your thing. You know what? You know, he does sometimes, look great. Sometimes having, because I think he has, I think he has three kids. Yeah, he ain't no mother, job. Being a mother of two, sometimes yeah, I just want to turn up and let it go. Exactly. However, though, in my house, I'm going to turn up. I'm going to turn up in my house. I no, can actually DJ. A friend. I just want you to know, Fred, what? you know, it's a little different. Like, he two years from being 50, though. <laughs> I'm turning up.
growing up in my house. I understand. With I'm my here friends, for it. I can have as much, you know, as I'd like in front of my my family, my friends. Mm. Nobody's gonna see all of that. Okay, I but ask, can I have an honest question? Go ahead. Yeah. What? No, no. Go ask ahead. the honest question. Okay. Lonnie's the only other single one up here with me. Jeez. Yeah. But would you find it almost unattractive? Like, do you guys see people's social media, Snapchat and um, Instagram and stuff like that? And guys that I'm interested in or like that almost could appear cute, but if they're at the club every night over a certain age, oh, yes. you're like, I Wait do a not want to be with this Wait guy. Old man at the club. Like, yeah, I man. find it really unattractive. Like, haven't you outgrown that? Didn't you do enough of that when you were younger? Like, at some point, sit down. Like, but, it's okay. Yeah, yeah like, I, I see what you're saying. I have a problem with him being there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, get your life. Go out and have fun. But you got to make, really, I just want to know, where's your friends that give you the occasional... Yes. I think like just like kids have on the yard, like you know you how you have yard duty. Like yard duties like look out for you and tell you when you've gone too far. You need like a twerking yard duty. Like somebody who's just like, yo, yo, a lot. Right. Put your skirt down. Yeah. Put the even a silver Sam. You know, I think in his ha- case he was sense. just he was letting it out. Yeah, because moment. as you get older, especially when you get in your forties, like, mm-hmm. you know. I do my club dates, mm-hmm. and people that feature for me, they're like in their 20s, mm-hmm. you know? So we're in these different cities, and they want to go out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you know, what the club will do is, if they find out I'm in town, they set up these VIP areas yeah. and stuff you VIP. like that. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't, I don't want to go, okay? But I go for, because, you know, the kids, they young, and you they, they bored. I know, I don't, because I try to go, yeah, and yeah. I just sit in the VIP area. As long as y'all got bottle service, I'll come to your little club, okay? <laughs> I sit in the corner, and I'm on Twitter all night while they out there getting, you know, turned yeah, up okay, and stuff. Because, yeah. you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm alluding to the fact that you're right. As you get older, you just get tired of that. You, you get tired You've of that club You've done it life. so much. I mean, right. You've just done it so much. At some point, y'all ever, when you guys were in your clubbing days, you ever went to the club and saw the same people there? Same every people, night, same every, Whatever day. was the popping night yep. of club, it was a Thursday night. You went every Thursday, and it was the same people. Shout out to New York City Greenhouse. <laughs> <laughs> I, it was too much. It was the same girls. Yeah. Yeah, the same yeah, people. I don't have a problem with Lord. you going. Go, get your life. Right. But it's just, you know, you can tap your foot. You can do the <laughs> cabbage patch. No. But just don't get up. So no, what he, no, 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 I can't. Don't tell. get up. No, because you that's never when you had... cross the line. So he was doing too much. Oh, yeah, come on. But he was now. doing a lot for even a 20 guess, year old. You well, somebody and daddy, we, dog. We don't <laughs> truly know. We don't truly know his situation. Uh, allegedly, I think he's separated. From from his 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 wife, so he has an ex wife now. He has uh-huh. three kids. He's now like ha- has a new hit show. He's cool. Maybe this was just this one time for him to just nah, let it go. Oh, he agree. looked real comfortable. I gotta say, no. if I see you, if I see a 45, 50 year old in the club like every single day, every like single you were day, saying, day. Like, but Tamara, even like a few weeks ago, you even looked at me and you were like, well, yeah, I want to go out. Out. I want to get it out, but I will not be putting anybody's phone in my mouth. Well, one South Carolina <laughs> elementary teacher has decided to create a different type of club, but in his school. What kind? But yes, Raymond Nelson established the Gentleman's Club, huh. which teaches at-risk young boys wow. things such I as how that. to speak to elders, how to respect women, and how to dress properly. Wow. Yes, I'm here for that. Wow. Yeah. 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 Now, Sam. Like you already, you know, you have a little baby boy. Yes, I do. Well, he's do. not a little baby no more. They babies are us. Yours I know. Is too. I am. Crazy like outside they are. I know what happened oh. to the time. So, have you already started to teach Aiden? You know oh. how to be a little gentleman. Absolutely. One thing I do take pride in being Aiden's mama is that oh. my three-year-old, you guys, he says thank you. He'll even say, "Mama, thank you for taking off my yeah, pants for too. me. Thank you." Yeah. And the biggest thing is is the way he says, please. He says, Paul, we, Paul, me. And that just melts my heart. And other people, you know, they see that. And that makes me feel really, really good. Yeah. You got to start them young. Yes, you yeah. do. And do it to and others as you would like to do unto you. And this is why this, um, this is so important. Because sometimes we always have these programs for the girls. Yes. Yes. And we're starting to forget about the young men. Yes. So I am very, very happy. True. Also, President Obama has a mentoring program called My Brother's Keeper, yes. which yes. is phenomenal. Yes. It's a really great oh, um, mentoring project. 
because we forget, you know? Yeah. Girls, we always want to help with the girls, but, you know, there are a lot... And these are at-risk youth, so that's why it's yeah, really important, important yeah. to do this. I wonder if he's gonna teach him how to walk like him now. Oh, <laughs> talk like yeah. Obama. Classic I ain't looking at your man, Michelle. I'm just saying, <laughs> walk you. Yeah, he does. <laughs> But you have to start them off young. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, exactly. like Logan, like he loves to fly. His thing is he loves airplanes. What? I don't know why. Oh. He loves airplanes. <laughs> I didn't know. And you know, that. like oh. I just felt so great because after the flight, the pilot came over to Vince and I was like, you know, you guys, you guys are raising a fine young man. Yeah. It was like, you know what he said to me after he left the cockpit? I was what? like, what? Because y'all have to have cocktails before I take over. That's you know. <laughs> <laughs> he he was like, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Yeah. And he oh. was so tired by a little two-year-old, and I'm yeah. like, come on, the right child. Because it ain't easy raising no. a grown man, honey. No. It's hard. Yeah. Just want to remind everybody out there that there are a lot of programs. If you don't have, um, you know, mentoring. Somebody, yeah. Right. Yes. You don't have Father somebody. Figure. You know, you have the Boys and Girls Club. You have Boy Scouts. There are a lot of different communities out there. Um, also, recreational centers. They yeah. have all kind of mentoring programs. So, seek those out, because that's very important very. for the youth. So. Yes. I love that. Me too. Speaking of being a gentleman, one Illinois father was looking to set up his daughter with an eligible bachelor. So, he decided to take out an ad in a Christian magazine. Okay? The father described his daughter as godly, gorgeous, athletic, educated, careered, humorous, traveled, bilingual, and <clears throat> a 26-year-old virgin. So he put that out there. That's nasty. The <laughs> magazine issued an apology for publishing the ad after some took offense, even though the father's daughter said she wasn't angry or embarrassed at all. So there's a father-daughter bond there that she understood why he did that mm. age. Mm. He looks Weird. surprised. <laughs> Do you think that parents should meddle in their children's love lives, or does that create disaster? I think it's their love life. They should be the ones in control of it. I just think that's what you raise them to do, to be able to choose to have them. I think it's... I think it's weird. Maybe it's just me. No, it's not just I think just it's a you. little weird if my father was speaking on my... Um, yeah, man. <clears throat> My virginity <laughs> or the... Like, no, for real, no. like, the question of the matter is, how you know she a 26-year-old virgin? How you know for sure? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I think, I think it's a little, like, creepy if you ask when me. When Logan starts dating, will you, how much will you step in a if you do? A thousand percent, but that's different. <laughs> See, that's what why I'm talking about. No, friend, why is 26, it 36, 46, you gotta go by me first. My no. thing is, have oh, yes, wait a minute, already. haven't this years dad heard ago. about ChristianMingle.com? Yeah, why man. is he putting an ad in the paper when you got all kind of ways that you can hook your daughter up. I think he's doing it in a loving way. She's 26 yeah. years old. He probably don't see nobody. Like, I better give her a little help. You know, because I'm on some grandkids. Well, you come from a selfish point of view. I'm sorry, not hers. I think, as a, as a Christian man, I think he takes pride in the fact that his daughter is a 26-year-old virgin, which is, a, which is a great that. thing. A which is a great virgin. thing. <laughs> however, however... <laughs> I think she should be the one ah. taking pride that she's a 26-year-old virgin. Thank you. Yes, Not that's yes. all I'm saying. Yes. But I can kind of see where he's coming. I'm so proud, but yeah, that is a little... Uh, 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 uh. But for me, it's easier said than done because my mom tried to... Ugh, my mom tried to hook me up with somebody and failed <laughs> miserably. Who, who it was, was it? People have... Uh, well, sometimes parents, parents think that you like a certain type. type whereas I... I mean, I, I like... Well, my husband is a is a handsome nerd. Like, I like, I yeah, just like, yeah. I just like nerds, you know? So yes. I literally had to tell my mom, Mom. He had too much swag for you? Uh, <laughs> Adam has swag, but he has a different type of swag. Honestly, it's just that we didn't connect. She just okay. saw a good-looking dude. It's not, it's not always about just a man being yeah. good-looking. I think that you have to, you have to connect in some kind Absolutely. of way. Absolutely. And I think only the, the children, or, you know, your, your children can do that. Because I ain't got no type. Okay. <laughs> no, that's not true. I'm joking. Everybody know I love victims. I'm lying. <laughs> you know what, though? Selena Gomez was in Paris for Fashion Week when she accidentally got trapped in an elevator with her friends. Oh, my gosh. Now, instead of calling for help, one of her friends decided to get out their phone and videotape the incident. Now, we want to preface this video by saying, do not try this technique if you're ever stuck in an elevator. Uh, Check it out. We keep talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Open the door like that. No, no, I'm not getting out of here. Is there any way you can... <laughs> <laughs> if it's a key... Oh, wait, it just be one of these things. Fight. <gasps> 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 
One at a time. Now, wow, so they all got out me. safe and sound. Just watching that made me nervous. I know. But Tamara, what yes. would you do if you were in Selena's situation? First of all, I just want to say, we should never do what they just did yeah. just right now. That, that, that could be so dangerous. So dangerous. So they were very, then, very though, lucky. Get out. Right? No, it's very true. Honestly, you guys, hmm, I think, I think my fight or flight is, is, is pretty well. I can be very calm. Something just happens. Something takes over when, when situations like, like that. You become Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman. I, I think I do. I remember I was on a flight <laughs> to Walt Disney World and the turbulence was so bad that the, the flight attendants, they, they told everybody, you know, to get ready for a crash landing. Wait, I'm sorry, what? Swear I to can't God. listen to this. Swear to God. And I don't know, people what? were like really afraid. One guy Friend. locked himself no, no, in the no, bathroom, no. wouldn't get out. I'm like, dude. How is that gonna help? But I remember just sitting there, speaking in tongues, one, oh praying. Uh, <laughs> and two, I just, I just become very, very calm because you have to be calm to think, to get out of the situation. I'm not a fan of elevators. I grew up in the projects. They would get, you know, stuck all the time. I am not a fan of elevators. Is it claustrophobia? I or have heights? both. I have both. Oh, dang. So I don't want to be well, up I, and then the thing the drops and yeah. no. I yeah. grew up in the projects too. Our, our elevators would always, I learned how to fix them though. That's what really? I did. That's no, what you did. did. What did you do? Did your elevators Seriously. have all the grease on them so you can't do graffiti so you can't lean on them? Oh, yeah. They what? used to do all of that. Grease did in they, the elevator. Did they go pee pee in your elevator? All the time. Oh, it's the project. Oh, my God. I hate yeah. that. It's crazy. Never but touch the buttons with your fingers. I just wish. I thought about this, because I said, if I was stuck in the elevator with these four heifers, <laughs> I could tell you exactly what would go down. What will happen, oh, Lonnie? Let hear. us know. What would happen? I, I want to know. Okay. okay, I would call 911. Mm -hmm. Jeannie would be filming it. I would. Adrian would be in the corner on Instagram. Mm -hmm. You would be trying service. to pry the door open. Yeah. And you would just be yelling at all of us. Yeah. 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 You tried it out! That's true. That's true. That's true. true. They opened up the door themselves, yeah. right? Yeah. They, they do saw, that, and they that's were... what the, 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 you don't want to do no. that. No, that's, you, you can get do that. split in half. <gasps> yes. Yeah, it For real. Because so, you never know where you, what the... position you're in on the elevator, so don't okay. do that. But the question because I Because the think... elevator will start again, and if you're halfway through, halfway in, halfway out. Boom, yeah. boom. boom. Yes, yeah. it's, it's so happening. violent Very... today on the real. But the question, what I like about what you said is, what do you do when you're in trouble? Do you stay calm? Mom, Jeannie yeah, Mark. I, I like no. if if, it, if you're stuck, <laughs> no. if you're stuck and it's not a dangerous situation, I like to make the most of it and like entertain yeah. a little bit and See? have fun. See, like, she worked on my nerves. I want you to panic in silence. <laughs> Everybody yeah. don't say in, nothing. Oh yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, <laughs> yeah, because that, oh, this, oh my god, oh my god, yeah. that's gonna drive the me worst. insane. Yeah, the worst. <laughs> and, and the whole funny, oh my god, you scared? And they, like you scare me even more. Yeah, like yeah. what are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Just nobody say nothing. Yes. So just Pick remain yourself. calm. That's yes. what we have. Yes. Try to remain calm. Everybody stay in your bubble. It's time to see just how well you know us when it comes to how well we know things. There's <laughs> money on the line. So let's play. This is You Bet Your Host. Yes. <laughs> This is how the game is played. We'll show you a clip of one of us being asked a question about something random, and you will have to decide if we actually know the answer. So if you bet correctly, guess what? You get $100 in your pocket. Yeah! So Adrian and Lonnie are kicking it in the audience, each with a stack of Benjamins just waiting to be won. Yes! Is everybody ready? <laughs> Who's got the first crack at $100? All right, where is Rachel Tugatti? <laughs> she said, yes, that's me. Okay, what brings you here today? Um, well, I'm actually here with my two of my best friends, um, Julian and Monique right there. Hi. They're the reason why I'm here today, so oh, yeah, thank you. All right, <laughs> what would you do with an extra $100? I would take two of them out to a nice dinner tonight. I'm oh. very happy to be here, so thank you, guys. Oh. <laughs> Well, I'm definitely hoping that Lady Luck is standing by. Let's roll the first clip. What state is the Grand Canyon in? <laughs> <laughs> well, based off of that face, Rachel, <laughs> it looked like it was a tough question, so I'm curious myself if Tamar knew the answer. What do you think? What do you guys think? You guys can help her out. Yes? Audience? Yes? 
Okay. I'm, I'm going to say yes. <laughs> she knows the answer. <laughs> Let's see if you're right. Play the clip. The state of the Grand Canyon is in Nevada. I know a new question. Oh, it's Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> it's Arizona. No, you know either. I know you know either. Everybody heard you say Nevada, and there's so many Tay Martians out here. They were like, that's yeah. not yeah. You took a risk and it didn't pay off. But guess what? You got a priceless t-shirt from? Oh. The room. Good catch. <laughs> what is the correct answer? Arizona. Arizona is the correct answer. Not uh, really. That's a trick question, because when you in Las Vegas, Nevada, they have the Grand Canyon tours. See? See? OK? See? So I'm going to say it. I'm just going to say it. Yeah. All right, so Lonnie. <laughs> Is there anybody up there whose daddy game is strong, honey? Shut up, Ronnie. Okay. Sonny E. John, it's time to roll the dice. Where you at, girl? Come on. Oh, God. Come on up here. This is my good side, all right? Now, if you win that $100, what are you, how are you going to spend it? Well, my beautiful sister that I came with right here, she just got engaged, and we're going to Jamaica for a wedding. <laughs> <laughs> well, we see if you have what it takes. All so. right, I'm ready. I'm ready. Roll the clip. Which two fairy tale characters ended up in a house made of gingerbread? <laughs> <laughs> you know, she got kids, but she might. She'd be a little tired sometimes. So you think she uh -oh. she knew the answer? Or you think you know? Uh, let's see. Okay, y'all need to help me with this one. Come on. Yeah. You think she know the answer? <laughs> all right. All right. The Jamaican wedding is all on you, baby girl. So I'm going to say, yes, she knows it. Thank you. <laughs> right. You, you, know this you would know this. You, you would know this. this. Come on. Um, Hansel and Gretel. said she would fight me if I didn't know a fairy tale. <laughs> our next guest got our attention with her breakout role in the hit show Orange is the New Black. Yeah! Now she's starring in movies like Joy and the new comedy The Perfect Match. Please welcome back my girl, Dasha Polanco. To the show. Thanks for coming yes. back. Yes, thank you. I love it here. I love it. So, much. so, what products can you not live without? I use coconut oil a lot in my hair everywhere. So does Adrian. Mm -hmm. Adrian. Yeah, Adrian. Yeah, it's maybe so it's a Latina thing. We yeah, have to it's been, We've been using it for years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But what does the coconut oil Everything. do? Everything. Yes. <laughs> really? That kind of fat. It's a good fat. Uh huh. Kind of like you know. Well, you know what? You do a lot of that stuff on your Instagram because I was checking out your Instagram. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you use that hashtag hair flip by a lot. <laughs> what do you mean by hashtag hair flip by? Well, for the haters, I don't have time. So yes. you, I hair flip my hair because I always try to have my hair looking fab. Yes. Yeah. And it always, always does. And at the same time, you, le you get left with a little fat. Oh. So hair flip by your behind. Yes. Smell good is everything. Thank you. She oh, really yeah. does. Uh, she really uh, does amazing. smell yeah. very smell good. Smell vision. <laughs> Everybody's like, why? You smell bad? No, it's just a way of like building your confidence. I yeah. Nice. That's something that people can't take away from me. Uh -huh. I was made fun of all my life right. because of my lips, because of my butt. You yeah. know, and now everybody's getting lips and butt. Right. You know, yeah. and my thighs and my yeah. body. So Scents and hygiene and fragrances, yeah. you can't take that away from me. I, no. That's right. right. Yes. You know, just, I know. <laughs> Angel be like, girl, why you smell like baby Jesus? I'm like, because he lives. <laughs> <laughs> he lives in me. Yes. Okay, so besides your busy career, you have two beautiful children. Yes. Aww. You do. <laughs> Dasani and Orion. What do they like to do? What are they into? 
they're into everything. Well, my son is into um, Justin Bieber right now. He loves Justin Bieber. Mm -hmm. He has something to say about his video making and which videos he liked and how he could have done it differently. Mm -hmm. So you know where he's going. Uh, <laughs> and my daughter's into social media, into the Millie Rock. Oh, yes. All yeah, the teenagers, they know all the new hot dances and they try to put us on Yeah, to but them. I could do it. Don't, you can Millie Rock I, on every block? What? what? Oh, I love it. Yeah. I love it. So you're in the new movie, The Perfect Match, yes. which comes out this weekend. Oh, I want to know. Tell me about it. Well, it's, you know, Terrence J is, is the player. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. No, but it's about finding that specific someone at, in a different stage in your life, and there's three different couples. They're all friends. And he's single, and he hasn't found that perfect match. It's a comedy. It's a romantic comedy. Yes. I, love I love, love films like yeah. this. Yeah. Anything by Billy Woodrow, I enjoy. Yes. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so amazing. Well, last season on Orange is the New Black, which I'm obsessed with the show, your baby mm. daddy played by Matt McCory, Split Town. Can you yeah. tell us, you know, if he's going to be back for the next season? Uh-oh. OK, so can we, tell, can we tell society when our baby daddy comes back? I mean, when he leaves. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on up uh, in the creative world. You know, Genji is. Uh -huh. is amazing at what she does, and uh -huh. as, as the fans are, so are we, the actors, when we wait for that script to come along to see if we're either in prison still, or, mm -hmm. or somebody comes back. Ooh. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. I know what Tamara's hoping for. I want him to come back. I want yes. you guys to be together. And your baby's so cute. Thank you. Thank Aww. you so much. Thank you. <laughs> well, you know we always love having you here, and you thank always you. bring us yes. joy. So thank you so much, Sasha. Makeup is made to enhance our beauty. But what you put on before your makeup is just as important. Yes. So today we're showing you how primers can hide imperfections and give your face a flawless finish. Why? Because it's all about the base. For those who don't know what primers do, they're a wonderful invention that fills in your fine lines mm. and wrinkles, honey, sometimes, mm. and hides your large pores and prevents your foundation from looking too cakey mm. and pretty much makes sure that your makeup lasts throughout the day. Now, after you wash your face, you put some moisturizer on, you let that dry, and then it's time for primerization. <laughs> I love that word. Yeah, me too. Now, there are a few different types of primers, so let's talk about silicone-based primers. Now, these create a barrier on top of your skin. So I'm just gonna put some right here. So. Just like this, you guys, a little bit goes a long way. Then you're gonna put your makeup on and it'll literally stick to your face. Here's a huge note, when wearing silicone primers, it's best to use a silicone-based foundation because then the ingredients are most likely to bind to one another and not separate. You can also wear an oil-based foundation with silicone primers, but you could run the risk of your foundation not having the longest wearability. Now, since you don't want that to happen, the trick is to use just a little less primer, like this. Lonnie, what do you have going on? Well, another type of primer is the tinted primer. Now, similar to um, priming your walls for paint, tinted primer prepares your face for beautification for the process to, you know, open up and become. I have Allie here. Now, the tint counteracts redness and gives you an even tone. That may even come in different colors like pink, green, blue, yellow, so on. And if you're a person that has an issue like rosacea on your face, you might want to use the green concealer to help conceal it better. You don't have it, do you, Allie? No. <laughs> okay, but we just no. gonna use you as a model. <laughs> a yellow primer helps to even out the skin tone overall, all right? So women with basic concealing needs, this one is for you. What do you have over there, T Tamara? Okay, well, if you've ever put your eyeshadow on in the morning and by the afternoon it was oily and had creases in it, messing up that fierce, smoky eye, then you haven't been using primers. Mm -hmm. Eye primers actually help eyeshadow stay put and helps illuminate the colors so they stand out. So if you don't want to put primer on your whole face, this is an option for you. Color primers also work as a concealer for dark circles and blemishes. Some even come with SPF already built in. Isn't that neat? Yes. Yes. A bottle of them, right? Mm -hmm. so you're just gonna put this on your eye, like so, before you put the eyeshadows on it. Cool, right? right? Yes. Yeah.